It's, uh... It's... It's... It's 3.17. I've been up for... a little bit already. I'm on my second cup. What I do... I've decided what I'm gonna do today, friends. Um... You know, sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta go. You just gotta do what... Sometimes in life, friends, I think, today we're just gonna, we're gonna vlog. We're gonna do like a vlog style video. Me and the boy are gonna go down and get some safety gear from Nizers. It's it's a, it's down in Lake Cowichan. And, uh, oh, I wanna show you what I do. This is what I, this is what I do. Check it out for a treat. I'll put you guys down here, okay, like this. Okay, now, see this? I heat up my cream. And I stir the cream up. See, friends? And it puts a foam, kind of a foamy cream on it. Probably not the greatest for the waistline, but. So after I get it foamy, like this. There we go. We put her back in the coffee. Let's go. Let's go this way. Meep. So, three, three seventy, three twenty. Going. We're gonna go down and get some stuff. We've been we've been climbing and, and cutting steady. Um, the last video you saw. It's funny, friends. Um, I rarely put put music on the videos. You know what I mean? Like I I rarely did. You know. Uh, over over the sound of the saws and stuff. I, I rarely do it. Um, but you know what? It's it's our music, friends. It's our music. Yeah, it's my mom's music. It's my music. It's my boy's music. So you're gonna hear the music. <laughs> you're gonna. Uh, not all the time, obviously, but you're gonna hear it. It's gonna be in some. It's gonna be in the odd video. I want to put the music out there. Um, some people, my mom's a freaking, she's a special, excuse me, special human being. So today I'm going to take my, my iPhone obviously with me and we're going to do a, a day in the life kind of a thing today. We're just going to cruise. I don't think we're cutting today. We've got a couple of trees, tree jobs to look at. So I'm just going to pack the phone and I'm going to go through the day and grab little videos and then I'm going to edit it later and we're going to throw it out for you and just come with us on the journey today. Hey, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I love you folks, be kind. Talk to you on the next little blurb. It is 8.15 in the morning. Can you hear the birds? They must be foraging for winter. Listen to them. It's crazy, there's dew now, it's chilly. I'm just coming out to the bunker to basically get a couple of axes wrapped up and shipped out. I gotta start a fire though. I got a new drum set in here. It was time. I got my beautiful 1929 Ludwig. Gorgeous, gorgeous drum. Oh, it's just, it's so beautiful, friends. It's such a beautiful drum set. So, we're gonna start a fire here. You know what I mean? Uh, my little axe here. This axe has been so helpful. Oh my goodness. I just like like to make tinder so there's no, you know what I mean, friends? You're not gonna struggle starting a fire. It's just not gonna happen. When I'm burning up the the handles with the, um, 
you know, with the burner, the little thing. Um, what happens is you could get little bits of sparks, you know, and I put it in the wood stove on top of the paper and we're talking fire right now. Oh yeah, just like this, you see? Oh yeah, friends, right in there. You see? Now, this is the beautiful thing about putting this saw down here. It acts like a freaking... This has got a great big knot in it here. Yeah, you can see it's already there. Look at that bugger. Scooby the... Scooby the Snoopy the Snoopy the home guy. Scooby. Homeless Scooby's fan working friends. Let's see if we can. Let's put another bigger piece in there. Cause this cedar. Look at that friends. What do you want to know about kindling? Looks like I gotta go get some more wood too. This thing's got draw like you wouldn't believe, friends. It does. Here, I'll open this up. There we go. Oh yeah, look at it. It just rips. Look at how it slows down instantly when you when you open the door. And then as soon as you you can hear it, it starts to howl. I love it. I love it, friends. So, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go get some wood outside. You guys coming? Let's go. Get some short stuff. Probably. I like the pieces to be smaller, friends, because they they burn good that way. There's a nice short one with big, thick bark. That's old growth right there. Love it. There's some more old growth. Oh, yeah. Oh, that stuff smells so good, friends. Let's do this. Look at this. Oh, duh. You can't even see the freaking grain in it. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful out, friends. It's going to be a gorgeous day, but it's cool. It is. It's cool. Yeah. Smoke's coming out of the chimney. This place will warm up quick. It'll be interesting to see if Scooby's fan will start turning. I can already feel the heat, friends. I'm not joking you. I can literally feel the heat coming from that sucker right now. I need to get it ripping. Look at it, friends. <laughs> Look at it. It's going. <laughs> I just give it a little click. It's starting to go. Check out this drum set, friends. Can you guys see that at all? Yeah, you can, can't you? It's, it's just beautiful, friends. This is like... Whoa, what was that? A boot. Yeah, different configuration. Much different configuration. Hear that?
dirty dog. I've also got this, friends. And what this thing does is it dampens down. See, that sounds better to me. than this. The drums have to sound the same. Sound's got a little overtone. Mind you, I like that sound. Pretty cool set of drums, I tell you that right now. Sound of the kick drum a little bit. Anyway, friends, it's warming up. The fans ripping. Scooby's homeless. Scooby's fan is, is oh, the heat is coming. I can feel it. It's a beautiful, glorious day. We're gonna shut this off for a minute. I'm gonna get the thing. Listen, Brock Davis, buddy. I'm gonna tell you something right now, Bell. Okay. <laughs> you wanted an axe that was like August Hunnicky's axe that I made. August Hunnicky. He was he was one of the first ones I made. I'm hoping that this is going to work, friends, because I'm, I'm using the other camera, the side I can't see. I can't see myself. So I'm actually looking straight at the back of the camera. I just want to try it and see what happens. Let's give it a shot. So we'll be able to work on this on the vlog doggy because we're vlogging today. The boy's sleeping. We're getting up a little later. He's coming with me. Uh, we got to go down to Cowichan. We're going to buy some safety gear. Uh, we're going to look at some stuff. Um, to kind of better us in our in our tree service, in our tree journey, make us safer. Uh, my boy, I, friends, again, I'll say it again, friends, I, uh, I, I'm not the safest person. I, I'll, ju I'll just be honest, I am not the safest person. I do take risks, I've been known to take risks before. I don't do it for any other reason than it just happens. I, I'm not, it's, it's not for a reason. It's just, I've lived my whole life like that. I, I can't explain it. Um, I, I, I don't want to try and explain it. It's not, a, it's not something I'm proud of. I don't, I don't, um, I don't promote it. I don't promote being unsafe. I don't promote taking chances. I don't promote, it's just how I live. And that sounds strange. I know it sounds like an oxymoron or whatever the heck you call that. I'll have double tied in down below my hips where I've got nothing up that I can cut. That's just me. That's how it's going. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm bendable and workable in some ways, but some ways I just ain't. Look at that fan, Scooby. Look at it. Yeah, anyway, okay. Brock, Brock Davis. It's a three and a half, it's, it's beautiful. I, I don't know what to say. You guys know how I get about my axis. Um, check that out. Yeah. Yeah, you know what you got, eh? You got the 5,000 year old wedge in this thing. You know that, right? You did. I love it. Talk to you in a minute, friends. Friends, I just want to stop for a second. And uh, <clears throat> there's always like, there's so much stuff on the go, right? You're doing this, you're doing that as you go through your day. Wow. You guys heard me talk about this. Hey, Mr. Jeffrey, <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey Rubish. Jeffrey, I told you a long time ago that we were going to, Billy and I, as fan, of course, we're going to make you an axe. Out of pure happiness and love for the channel and the community, uh, Billy one day on the live feed said um, you I forget exactly what you said Mr. Rubish but you said something along the lines it will be nice one day when I can have a bucket special I don't know whether that was a finance thing I don't it does not matter Billy said to you I'll make you one right now just like that he said it and he's doing it and he has done it and I am part of it and I am so so blessed and happy to be part of your acts my friend yes it is done it is wonderful I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to give to you. It is beautiful. Or not, my friends. Be kind. But 
who am I, right? And you can see it's it looks well. You can see it goes like this where the where it's pressing out and not. It's amazing. And then I put a couple of step wedges on the, on either side like that, friends. I don't think she's going too far. I'll tell you that right now. So I'm stoked. I'm freaking stoked actually with a with a Jatoba wedge in there, solid as a rock. I think I even got it on here. I hammered it home. So I'll dig that out and put it on here as well. Until I get it set. Like that. Very good. Wow. If you guys want to know what it is, I'll just freaking show it to you. Right there. See it? It's the slot from Mr. George Vincent. I've smashed this already. I've hammered it. Look what I got left. I got about a little over a quarter inch, friends. Yeah. And I'm going to wail on it. I'm going to freaking wail on it. I'm going to because I got a rubber stopper in the bottom of this little thing here. And I want more. I want more wedge. Hear that? Oh yeah! Hear that? Hey, did you hear that? They hear that? That means that that's hitting flat on top of that Jatoba. It's like clank, clank, clank. Mr. Rubish, I, I got it. Remember that little hole I was talking to you about? The drill got there just a teeny bit. Oh, it's it's minuscule, like just. Oh, <laughs> this turned out really good, buddy. It's just, after you do 300 and something of these bloody things, friends, right? You kind of get the idea of what you got to do. So I just finished doing that, part of the vlog today. Beautiful axe, just, uh, Mr. Rubish. And it's done, friends. It's finished, right? Yeah, it's done. Awesome. So we've got, uh, whether it goes out today, that's another story. Because we got Brock's going out, which I just packed up, sitting over there in the corner. Uh, Rick, Lant, uh, Rick Lane, yours is deadly. And Mr. Justin Palsic. Justin, I'm telling you right now, bud. I think I've showed this axe. I think I've showed it. Look at it. True temper, flint edge, Kelly works, the full nine on it. Full enchilada, full, full, full dresser. Full dresser, baby. Stereo to boot. Kitchen sinks at home. Uh, just, you know, I left this one. Well, this is what I did. Look. I countersink them. Because the fattest part of the wedge is at the top. So when you countersink and you want a proud axe, you're only getting down to about there where my finger is there. But if you countersink it, you get more spread. It spreads the wood over. So that's why I do this, friends. I, I, I'm telling you, I don't know whoever's out there have got my axes. If it, let, I haven't heard no feedback from people's heads falling off. We had a couple slip, which they came back. I squared away right away. Uh, again, which was those heads with the linseed. They stung me. I know they did. One was an old, old one too. So that was my, my gig on that one. But I call it the chamfer show. <laughs> Okay, and then I give it a little, oh, you, know, you dirty, rotten son of a, get in there, you, I, I oughta. Right? You gotta get it in there. Get in there and you get the, oh uh, yeah. You see what I'm talking about? So now, now she's chamfered. She looks a little bit older, a little worn, a little worn in, like a piece of driftwood that's been floating around the salt chuck for about 500 years. Oh yeah, look at it. Chamfer show. Yeah. Justin Palsic, straight up deadly handle. Rock solid straight. I even freaking octagoned it for you. It just suited the axe nicely. This is a dandy axe. Octagonation. I just about hit the phone on that one, actually. That was close. Oh, it's a beauty. Deadly. Combination, wood splitter, wedge banger. Doodle. Justin. Okay, I'm feeling good about this now. 
I'm always feeling good about it, but I'm feeling really good about it because when I when I mail axes off friends, see, <clears throat> remember, I just want to share some with you guys. I don't know what I got. <laughs> I get, I get, <laughs> I'm sorry. I do this, and I and I just I I, I try not. But you know what I'm doing? <laughs> I look. <laughs> I can't help it. But you when you. when I do that oh my stomach friends okay <laughs> it's it's weird it, friends it's genuine I can't look at myself right now I figured out what it was I can't look at myself right now because if I look at myself also I'll, I'll lose it that's what happens if you want to know go back into those videos where I had that laughing fit and every time I look back at the camera I got it beat now. Okay, good. I got it beat. I, uh, I I lose it again, and it's it's because of what I'm doing. I'm sitting here talking to a freaking phone, but it's never it 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 only hits me once in a while. Usually, I'm talking to you guys. I'm picturing like everybody, and and it's it's like it's my YouTube channel. It's the community. I'm like I'm there now. But a couple, 30 seconds ago, I wasn't there. I was looking at myself and I was, I was kind of losing it, but I go there once in a while. And I think I've done it three times now. And every time I've done it, it's been captured on the channel and it's sincere. And it hurts my guts when I do it because it, it's, it feels so nice to laugh. Let's all be honest. But anyways, anyways, friends, what I was going to say before I went off into the fit. So. <laughs> now that that's over, I do wrap my axes though. That's all I, of course I do. Me and my relationship with duct tape goes deep, real deep. So, Mr. Brock Davis, you, you, trust me, buddy. You, when you get this thing, let me know. Mr. Palsick, Justin, and Rick Lane, okay? You guys are getting your axes. I'm shipping them out today. Jeremy freaking Bell. I'm sending Jeremy a Mac. It was a Pro Mac 1010S with a with a with a bit of a, a shaky cylinder in it, a, a piston. Sorry, a bit scored. I think it actually even fired. There's a, there's a coil and everything on there. It's complete saw, Justin. Or pardon me, Jeremy. Uh, right. But the only thing is, is he's. I, I've been looking for a 710, friends, forever. And Justin, or pardon me, Jeremy Bell has one, friends. He has one for me. So, but he needed some pieces and parts, so I'm sending on that saw. And another thing I'm sending is Amelia. Amanda, I believe. Amanda and your lovely husband, which I don't know his name actually, because I've just done the business with you. You people are awesome. I know you watch the channel. At least I hope you do. No, I know you do. Um, it, it got it got lost. Friends, you know what? We've lost, we've lost. There's been a few uh, items lost in the last four years in, in shipping, I'll be honest. There has been. Um, and they may show up. I've sent stuff because I'm not into it. I will send it and they'll go buck and the other one came. I said, well, now you got two. I don't care. That doesn't bother me. So Amanda, please don't even, I'm not out. That does not put me out. That puts me in, in my heart and it makes me feel better. It's not my fault that, that that the freaking thing got lost, and it's not yours neither. It just is. So, one to the gods. Whoever gets it, bonus. Matter. Over and out. I'll talk to you a little later down the road, and on to me and Hogan going down the road on the truck and the Mercury. Okay, friends. How are we doing, everybody? We kind of were crazy. We just, it was an accident on the road there. Now, we're coming back from Nizers. We got a couple safety gears. Oh, there's one back there. We got our sunglasses for uh, Hogan. He's got his safety glasses. We got a couple of shirts. What else did we get, boys? Shoelaces? Yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, I got, some, wedges. I got some wedges. That's safe. You gotta be safe with the wedges. Uh, we already got hard hats and all that stuff. We just gotta start wearing stuff. Saw pants. See you at home. Oh, good evening. I'm back in town. Me and the boy, we were... Uh, 
we were on the run. I'll, I'll be honest. We were we were scurrying around pretty good. We got some goodies. We got a couple things here. Interesting. Uh, here we go. Look at this. Well, I'll be darned. Could this be from Jeremy Bell? I think it's a t-shirt. I do. That's what I think it is. I've opened a few packages in my time, okay? I'm just thinking. That's all. Just thinking. But it might not be. It could be something else. Oh, what's, oh look at this now. Uh-oh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. He's made something for me. He's made something for me. You dirty dog, Jeremy. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at what he's done here, friends. Look at this now. What have you done? Oh, look at that. Nice, buddy. I love it. I love it. Remember one axis of kindness a day. Buddy, come on. Best bucking dad ever. Thanks, guys. That's pretty sweet. I love it, bud. Now, they're, I'll be wearing that sucker. I might not even cut the sleeves off of that one. <laughs> You're a good man, Jeremy Bell. That's a pretty nice gift you just gave me there. Now, there's another fella. There's another fella who we're all aware of on the channel, okay? Now, we call him Mr. Wart, Sean Wart. And what he's got, He's been, he's been, he's been working on a couple things. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a fan. Heat powered stove fan. <laughs> what a guy. Well, that is funny. I'll tell you what happened. You got beat to the punch on the fan, buddy. Yeah, you did. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use it inside the house. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I don't have one in the house, buddy. So this is perfect. I love it. I freaking love it. Friends, you people. Yeah, look, it's the same one. I think it's the same one. It is. No, it's a little different. Look at that. It's a little different. I think it's the same company. Keep four inches away from the stove pipe. Okay, well that will do. This probably says the same thing. No, it doesn't. Now would you look at that? I've got two of them. I got two of them. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. So now we got we got Scooby. Homeless Scooby got me a fan for the wood stove, and I got one for the inside the house for Mr. Sean Wirt. Thanks, Sean, buddy. I appreciate it. I'm keeping it. Now, what does this say? It says, hi, Buck, and this is the only paper I had in the truck. What you have here is a fan with an electric fan that runs from power that is created from the heat transfer. Enjoy, my friend. Hopefully, only a couple of weeks until I have your brand heater for you. Ha ha! Ah! Mr. Wirt. Mr. Wirt. Thanks, buddy. 